In this video, we get to know this amazing couple, Siobhan and Melvin, how they visited Ghana for the first time and ended up buying land in less than a week and developed this amazing property in less than four months. A beautiful country. Um, we did some research and it just, we were West African by blood and we just did some research and this is where we ended up landing. So that's where it started. I did want chickens. I wanted roosters, <laughs> chickens, uh, goats running around. And once we got here, we kind of started thinking a little bit bigger. Um, it was, we intended to move here. So once we moved here, it's kind of, how do we sustain ourselves? So it started at an Airbnb um, and then it got even bigger from there. So now it's a, literally a full blown hotel that we're building. So. Hello guys, welcome to the channel once again. Today I have here this beautiful couple, uh, Siobhan and Melvin. And I'm sure you guys met Melvin already on the channel. They are building a very beautiful property here, which we're going to get to later. But before we get to the property, we're going to get into their story. You guys came here for the first time last year. Mm -hmm. It was 2023. If I'm not mistaken, it was around June, July. May. 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 Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So around, that was the first time in Ghana and Africa in general. Yes. Correct. And I was quite surprised when you guys hit the ground. Within a week, you came to look at this land. Mm -hmm. How long were you guys down here for the... Your first time here, how long were first you guys? First time here? we were here about 10 days. Yep, yeah. about 10 days, week and a half or so. It was our business. Within those 10 days, you guys did a lot of research before you touched the ground. Yep. Because I had, Siobhan emailed me mm -hmm. earlier mm -hmm. about land, and you told me that when you come, you, you reach out to me or something like that. Yeah. So this happens a lot, so I didn't really pay particular attention mm -hmm. to it. But then she wrote me, and I can tell that she was, she was really serious. Wrote him and said, we're, we're there next week. We need to talk to you. <laughs> exactly. So we had land at uh, Oyarefa, but unfortunately, which I think you were going to love for your chickens, because yeah. it, was, it was four plus, but everything yeah. happens for a reason, because yeah, where absolutely. you ended up landing, as you guys could see in, the, in this video, is amazing views, both the mountains that most people pray for and the river over here. So they got the best of both that you can actually pray for. And, they got a greenery as well that you could look at, and they are in the city. This is like less than five minutes from West Hills Mall. So we're going to get to all of that. Why did you guys choose to come to Ghana out of all these African countries? Well, for me, uh, it just we have been doing, looking at a lot of videos over the course of the last few years, and we just like the opportunity, how um, open it seemed. It seemed like it, it needed what we had to offer um, energy the workforce is already here um it just was a beautiful uh beautiful country um we did some research and it just we were west african by blood and we just did some research and this is where we ended up landing for me that's what it was i mean i follow my husband <laughs> awesome awesome he wanted to come i follow his lead <laughs> okay and you've been here twice already since may no yes. you've been here twice you've been here three times yes. this is my third time and you guys came here for 30 December, right? You, you just had to do it. You just yeah. had to be here for uh, the Afro Future. You guys we went, went to Afro Future. We went there. And you came heavy. You came with yeah. <laughs> how, how, how many of you guys? Eight? There were eight of us. Eight of us. Eight of us. Okay. Two young people just so they could get the experience, 15-year-olds. Um, so that was really enlightening for them just to get the experience and culture at a young age, mm -hmm. which was big for me. Uh, we came with another couple and my Uncle Craig. Uh, which we'll you'll talk about here. later. Yeah. And yeah, Uncle Craig is staying. Yeah. We're going to get to that later on, <laughs> why Uncle Craig is staying. So stay tuned. But let's get to the land. You guys came in here. You looked at a few properties. I'm sure the ones that you guys went to look at, which was like about two hours away. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure what the particulars of it, but yeah. you were very transparent to let us know you are going to go look at other land and get back to us. And I'm sure that land was cheaper as compared to this location. Mm -hmm. So you, were, you, you guys were taking much of, um, a much, much less risk we purchased that land. However, you chose to go with this one. And not only going for one plot, but two plots. Which, and it wasn't cheap. So what gave you guys the confidence to risk that amount of money? Because it's all over YouTube that, you know, land scams in Ghana and all that stuff, which is it's a real deal. But so, what, what work did you do to feel comfortable? Because I can tell that you guys were very comfortable. You weren't panicking. You guys were comfortable moving yeah. forward. We're purchasing this land. So, and I think a lot of it was because we did so much research. So we kind of narrowed it down to three different people who were selling land. And once we came to this land and met you and Bismarck, I mean, once I, you know, met them in person, I was just, I felt good about the decision to work with them. 
Um, there were cheaper lands, but for me, ultimately, after getting off a plane for a day, you know, I didn't want to have to drive three hours to Cape Coast or, um, you know, an hour and a half. So being 30 minutes from the airport kind of sealed the deal. The views absolutely helped that situation. <laughs> so awesome. And um, it was just the, the comfortability about it. They, they both have spent time in the States and they knew some of our concerns and they were uh, able to address them to our satisfaction. So it was really about the comfortability. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. A yep. third time here, second time here. I'm sure when you come here, you don't pack your food and come to Ghana, <laughs> which means you are eating Ghanaian food. Yeah. How do you guys find the Ghanaian food? What's your favorite? Do um, you like everything in Ghana? Is there something that you don't like? I haven't had anything that I don't like, honestly. So I've loved everything. I know the food is pretty spicy, so it's not generally what we eat at home, but I just love the culture. I embraced it, the food and everything. Um, it's good. As long as you don't try to eat Americanized food, um, don't go for the burgers, don't go for the pizza. You really have to get into the, to the, to the natural foods and then you'll, you'll really get to get into it. There, there, there are a lot of rice based foods. There are a lot of, uh, what we call roux and gravies and vegetable cutups. So they're really heavy into that. And, um, you know, I've lost six or seven pounds just being here, just eating well, you awesome. know, um, you don't need as much food, come to find out. We eat a lot, and we don't need as much as you would think. Yeah. For the reason, you don't get as hungry in Ghana. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, you don't get as hungry. And I know a lot of people that come here. A friend of mine came here. He moved in, I think, last year, almost a year now. And he lost a lot of weight without doing anything at all. So he's been trying to lose this weight for a long time. Yeah. So I don't know. There's something going on there. But uh, let's get to this project. You guys came in here. You had the balls to come and buy this property, despite all the horror stories, which I really admire. Trust me, if you're not from here, you guys obviously don't know anybody here except the people you know from YouTube to come down here. Mm -hmm. And then within two, three, four days, you made a decision to spend this money to buy land here. So after you know embarking on this journey, you wanted chickens. I remember you almost passed this land because it was only two plus. You wanted four plus, yeah. you know, you were asking about the neighbors and all that because yeah. you just have to have the chickens. Right, right. And finally, you decided to take this. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are grateful that you did because we are working on this project that we are about to get into. So the house turned into this. So please, you know, share, share your story. Let us know the evolution behind it. How did the idea develop from, you know, chickens running around in a small house for, you know, you say your vacation home and all that stuff. But I'm going to let you get into it. How did the whole thing, you know, come about to where so we are today? We are business owners, entrepreneurs, so we work 24-7, literally around the clock, 3 in the morning, we're happy. So we wanted somewhere we could go and get away from it all. So we were just planning a family home where our children could come visit. We could hang out with other traveling couples that we typically travel with. So that's where it started. I did want chickens. I wanted roosters, <laughs> chickens, uh, goats running around. And once we got here, we kind of started thinking a little bit bigger. Um, it was, we intended to move here. So once we moved here, it's kind of, how do we sustain ourselves? So it started at an Airbnb, um, and then it got even bigger from there. So now it's a, literally a full blown hotel that we're building. So. Awesome. Awesome. So it's a hotel that I'm going to put the link to their YouTube. They have a YouTube channel where they're sharing the story and everything that they're doing down here. So don't forget the link to their YouTube is in the description below. And once you get there, you're going to find out everything that you need to know, whether that's booking. They're also going to do events here if you want to get married. Uh, if there's you know, a small party you want to throw, they have a rooftop here, as you guys can see on the screen. All of that, all the details, it will be there for you. And uh, we started this project in September. You guys gave us this audacious goal and like tight, tight timelines. And along the way, like you were saying, you guys started to dream bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Even after we have done the detailed design, yeah. you guys kept... You said you use a you use a very good word. I don't want to I don't want to say changes. You said what? What was updates. the word? We updates. Yeah, a lot of updates to to the project, and we arrive at where we are today. Yeah. So how was it? Wait, okay, I need a reception area. Okay, the pool should be bigger. What what was going on? Like what was happening in the states? Cause you guys were making all these orders in the states coming together. <laughs> so what was going on? What was the day to day conversation so that was uh, leading to we this? We kind of travel. We travel a lot. So, and we kind of just, like I said, because we work so much at home, we travel all over the world. So when we were thinking of this place, it was thinking of an escape. How can we have here what we see in Barbados or the Bahamas and things like that? 
And that's why it kind of just got bigger. So they dug out the pool and it was like, it's not big enough. Like we need more. Um, at the pool house and different things like that. So just, it grew. Awesome, storage. awesome, awesome. And we are here, we are so grateful that you guys obviously bought the land from us, as I already told you guys, and everything went smoothly. Mm -hmm. And you also chose to use us to build this house, which means you have to send in a lot of money for yeah. this, you know, in pieces. But, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't cheap. You were taking even more risks, yeah. <laughs> more risks than the land to get this thing done. So I want you to share the process and the experience with, why, why did you choose us after buying the land? Because you don't have to use us to build just because you bought, you bought the land from us. What made you make that decision? Like, okay, I'm going to settle with you guys and, uh, and go through with taking more risks with us. Well, for me personally, I had, we have been watching a lot of people on YouTube doing uh, similar things to what we're doing and to what you're doing. And it just seemed like you guys were doing um, good, good business. I've seen some of your units that you've built. I've seen your home that you've built. Um, I, and I've seen some of the projects, and it looked, it looked very well done, very professional, and I just it, I felt comfortable go, doing, going forward. I think the biggest risk was purchasing the land, and because we were, um, we were certain in that area, things worked out, it just felt safe to move forward with the building also and keep, keep that same energy going. So, and it's worked out. Um, they've given everything they promised. Uh, the funds have been used appropriately. We see where our money is being spent. So, I mean, it just worked out. And again, we've, we've, been, we've been adding since the beginning. No, yeah. we've been updating since the beginning. <laughs> so <laughs> they've been really good. They've worked with us um, despite our demands. We're not the easiest people to deal with. Um, you know, you can ask around about that. <laughs> and so they've, they've worked with us a lot. And um, the relationship that we've developed has has gone beyond just the business. It started with the land purchase, turned into a land development. Now we're, um, we're moving forward. We even got our eyes and ears on other projects, so. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And uh, you guys decided to ship some stuff here. How was the shipping process? Why did you decide to ship some of the stuff here? And you've been in Ghana, this time it's your longest stay since December. What have you found that, you know, you could have bought here, but you shipped it? And how was the shipping process itself? So we did a lot of research as far as shipping, but then we did ask you guys for some guidance. And we used a gentleman named Isaac, who's been very helpful. Um, Mr. Arturo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we shipped everything, everything arrived safely. Um, but now that we've been here, I see that they have beautiful furniture. So there's probably some things that we didn't have to ship. Now that I see what Ghana has to offer, there's beautiful furniture here. But things like televisions, um, even refrigerators, um, I don't want to, they could, it's, it's cheaper for, it was cheaper for us. Now, maybe you guys can find something more, but for the TVs, it was cheaper for us just to buy them at home and ship them. And ship it. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. TVs are very expensive in Ghana. I don't know why, if it's a taxes, but it's very expensive. As a matter of fact, I, had crazy. To, I was here, I was doing a comparison. So I was here looking at what I can buy and what does it make sense. And the TV was one thing that I had to buy, that in my different equipment. And then have Isaac ship it in. Mm -hmm. So... Um, so I'm glad that you guys did the shipment. Mm -hmm. You know, overall, Ghana is very expensive. Can you touch on that? Do you think Ghana is cheaper than the States? But certain things are more expensive. So I want you to touch on that, because some people think it's so cheap here that you can just come here with a small amount of money, you'll be fine. Oh, That's no. not the case, so. Oh, no. <laughs> now, the further you go away out from the city, and it depends on what you're purchasing, but if you're going out from the city, the land gets cheaper. Um, what I found is cheaper for, for, for what I've noticed. I've not been here long. But um, services are a little less expensive here. Things, um, for instance, uh, haircuts in America, where I'm from, we can spend thirty dollars, forty dollars U.S. dollars on a, on a haircut, anytime. Twenty-five dollars plus a tip. Here, you can get a great haircut with the works for fifty Ghana CDs, which which is less than yeah, four bucks and some okay. change. Yeah. So it's like things like that. Um, uh, you can drivers. Stuff that you would that would cost us a lot at home won't don't cost a lot here. But when you look at electronics, it's like three, four times more expensive to buy electronics here than it is home. So it's it's just different. Your Labor is a lot cheaper, but I don't know if material is. So it's just things some like that. Some materials are cheaper. Some materials are more it's expensive. It's just different. And where you wanna chill? If you wanna go to Accra or East Legon, those places you are spending. The, it's equivalent to New York. It's very expensive. Oh, wow. Yeah, if yeah. you want to eat like at a restaurant, when oh, you yeah. do the math, it's 13, 15 bucks. 
you know so mm -hmm. yeah. yeah it can it can add up so mm -hmm. this project right i already touched on it what you guys want to do as far as renting out and all that stuff but i did the talking so i want you guys to do the talking with regards to this particular project uh when are we when are we kicking off when are we putting it out there like hey you can stay here because you know how people are saying oh when can i book blah blah and i don't want to be the one to it's not mine right so you know <laughs> so we are looking at april 1st being open um and accepting bookings as early as march so the website should be up in a few weeks so you can book ahead of time there are there's one three bedroom unit two two bedroom units and four one bedroom units so yeah, every, you have all sweets. The pricing is not up yet, but they will no. find it on the website. Yeah. But the YouTube link is in the description, so you just have to click on it, and you can talk to them one on one. If the website is not ready, they can still let you know. You know, backdoor deal, book it up. <laughs> all that is there, right? Gotcha. If it's up to, then you go through with it. So the link is there. That's imperative that you could refer to any time to access their website or talk to them directly. And if I can ask for some personal help, check our go to our site and uh, help us out with a name. We We're still trying to figure this thing out. <laughs> Help us out. Give oh. us a call. These are all sweets. Yeah. Uh, we're open for discussion. These guys talked to us we're, before we met them. So we will also be just as gracious. Um, so, and You heard that. Let me repeat it. They want a name, okay? Yeah. So if you can be creative enough to come up right. with a name <laughs> on a building you did not build, right. I'm sure you're going to feel very good well, about whichever yourself. Whichever one, let's, let's get you here and get you a room booked. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <On the house. laughs> exactly. So give them a name that's catchy. There's a modern house. You see the pictures. You see the video up there. Think about it. See what's going to fit this building to help with the creativity so they can get the name and then get this place going. Because you can't book without the name, right? Right. You cannot. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you very much. So uh, let's get to Craig, right? And to Craig... Uncle Craig, yes, who yes. is here, is a family member. He was part of the eight crew that you guys came down here with, including yourself. And he is staying back mm -hmm. to manage things, which is the way things move in Ghana if you want your business to succeed. If you're not around, you need a very trustworthy person. If they're a friend that you know very well, a family yeah. member. That's how everybody does it. That's how the Lebanese does it. That's how Ghanaians abroad does it. That's how everybody, if you want it to succeed, unless you know somebody who's really good. And I don't know where you guys got the advice from, but you guys are doing everything by the book. Yeah. <laughs> so let them have some tips on that. How, 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 how did that come about? Well, I've been working on my Uncle Craig about this for the last five or six months. And uh, we kind of knew once the project started developing that it was going to be something that, like she said earlier, we have, we have businesses going on at home. So it's going to be hard for us to manage them both. So he's going to be our go-between between here and there. And as he said, you're going to need somebody that you can trust and that's somebody that's going to be on the ground to, to kind of refer back and forth between us. And we were lucky to have him to do that for very, us. Very blessed. And how is he liking it down here? He's, he's been here for he's a while. He's never going home. <laughs> no, he doesn't he want does to. He does not plan on going home. So. All right. So they do everything by the book. Uh, your business can do really well here, but sometimes the management. And you just need one person to control everything and you will do well. So you don't necessarily have to move down here as I keep preaching. But it's imperative that you come down here and you do something like our brothers and sisters. Everybody's complaining that this, thing, you know, racism, blah, blah. But what are you doing to help, right? Like what they are doing. At least they're going to employ at least 12 people here, right? Oh, yeah. at so least. at least 12 people. It could be more. And th these people are eating because of what they chose to do. So we do have to do something down here. And it's really important with the land issues that we have. That's why we do what we do, right? We are building buildings, but it's more than that. The, the, the dream is make it happen is really what people think is impossible. Buying land here could be so easy. We make that happen, right? And then go through with it so people don't get scared off. I mean, if you guys came here and then the first thing you try to do, you got, you got scammed, yeah. that throws a lot of people off. Yeah, that I mean, would have ruined it. So. so if you want a safe bet, bet on Acadian. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that right. So, and, and yes, they've been great and um, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to dis dissuade you from using other people. There are a lot of uh, trustworthy people here in Ghana. These people are very, um, honesty is like a, it's like honor, you know what I mean? To be dishonest, to be dishonest into wrong people. Now there, there's wrong everywhere, of course, but for the most part, this is a very, I feel it's comfortable. Yeah. I, feel, I feel at peace while I'm here. Awesome, Absolutely. awesome. Ghana, everybody says that. I don't know what it is, including myself, though on my channel, you guys know, you know, I have a lot of, Stressful situations, but the peace is still unmatched, mm -hmm. right? 
uh, it's just peaceful, you know, the breeze coming in, how people are moving is just, people are more friendly, even if they don't have much. Yeah. You know, where we, where, yeah. where we both came from, people can have the world and they still complain and they are yeah. mad walking around. You were mentioned the other time that people are saying to you, greet you, and you are like, oh, why are you greeting me, right? It's different. You <laughs> yes. have to get used to it. And growing up in the States, that's something I have to get used to. When you greet somebody, they look at you like you're crazy. Yeah. And yes. I have to start, you know, when I came here, now I'm better. When I came here, I would walk past somebody, and they look at me like, this guy is so rude. You know, <laughs> but, so, but now I'm better. Now, yeah. wherever I walk, I make sure I say, how you doing, and all that. Yeah. So you get that down here. You know, just come on human relations, and that's, that's worth more than it more is. money can buy. I agree. All right, so we're going to wrap it up here, but they're definitely going to be on the channel again once this place is operational. So the next time we come in here, you're going to hear music in the background, right. and you cannot ah. really hear what we say. You're going to see how we are getting down here. Uh, thank you very much for watching the channel, as always. And uh, if you've not subscribed to the channel already, kind of do so. It helps with the production and everything. And uh, like the video. It helps with the algorithm. Comment. You know, let's keep the engagement going. Let me know what you think. Uh, and until next time, my friends, be legendary. Peace. Peace. <laughs>